Hello and welcome to our channel. We are Lizzie and Melanie. Since it's Super Bowl time, we thought we would make an appetizer for you today and we're going to do potato poppers. Potato poppers. Yeah, they're really fun, they're easy to make, and this would also be something that you could throw together for your kids after school. I could totally see kids loving this because they're literally little bitty and you just pop them. So here are the ingredients. We have two cups of russet potatoes, which is about two medium sized to small sized potatoes. And you know, if you cut up two potatoes and it's two and a quarter cups, go ahead and go for it. A half a teaspoon of peeled salt. Peeled and diced. Yes, peeled and diced. There's no peel on them. Actually, is it diced when it's bigger? I don't know. Peels and, and peeled cubed. and chopped. Cubed. 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 Okay, they're peeled and cubed. And then we've got a half a cup of salt. I'm sorry, did you say half a cup of salt? I did say half a cup of salt. Please don't do that. Thank you, Mark. Oh my goodness, please don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was wrong. A half a teaspoon of that salt. A better. That makes much more sense. A quarter of a cup of roasted red bell peppers packed. And which packed means? Packed means that you really push them down in there and make sure that you've got all of that space filled with roasted red bell pepper. Did you roast those yourself or did you buy them in a jar? I bought them in a jar. Costco had this huge jar of roasted red bell peppers and I bought them because it was less expensive than me roasting them myself. But I will say that in the Instant Omni and the Vortex, it is so easy to roast red bell peppers and they're really, really good. Okay. Okay, and then we have a third of a cup of green onion, and I only use the green part because it just looks really pretty. Mm -hmm. And so, green part only, and then four to six cloves of garlic. Mm -hmm. Four to six. <coughs> or six, as we call it. Or six, yes. Large ones, because we love garlic. And then a pinch of cayenne. I would normally do about an eighth of a teaspoon, but Lizzie's here, and she's not real big on spices, so I'm only going to do a pinch. But you might want to do an eighth of a teaspoon. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, exactly, fine, yeah. exactly. And then pepper to taste. So whatever kind of pepper you and want. And some liquid. I noticed. I can't yes, there liquid is some here. liquid because it's going in the instant pot. Yes, it has to be a liquid. Yes, that is a half a cup of water. You can also use broth. Afterwards, we're going to strain the potatoes, strain the water off the potatoes, and then put them in there and mash them up. And right. then we'll make them into lovely little balls. It's going to be fun. Okay. All right. So we have turned on the saute button. And now on. it's nice and hot. Does it say hot? No. Yes. 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 So we made we it to hot. Normally we're both a little um, impatient. impatient. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. And so we just go and it's fine. You know if it's sizzling, it's ready. Uh, as a matter of fact, the first time mine said hot, I thought that was the burn notice. I thought so too. Did not know. I thought so um, But too. we did. We were talking, which we do. Um, so we're there at hot. So what are we doing first? Okay. You're going to put that water in there. And then we are going to yeah. hot. And we're going to add the garlic, and we're going to saute the garlic for okay. just a minute. Because if you just saute you garlic too long, past the point where it smells you, it'll start to burn and get bitter. And I'm really, it's like perfume. I know, I know, I know. And this is the only thing you'll have to do other than dump everything in. The red bell pepper you will put in after it has cooked, though. Because okay. Because it'll just turn into It's starting to soften, so what's next? Okay, the next thing is the potatoes. It, there's no particular order, actually. And scallion. The scallions are green onions. That's probably like a sixteenth for Lizzie. Normally I'd do an eighth. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. And that is it, other than half a cup of liquid. And then we turn off the saute button and we put the lid on. I am getting so good at that. Now, okay, Lizzie. Oh, actually, now, I can't. Can you see cancel? I can't do it from here. Oh, I canceled it. Um, where is manual? I don't Should see we... it. There it is. Okay, press manual, and it's set for eight minutes. So we will see you in eight minutes when this is. Is it a quick release? I believe it is. It quick is release. Time to quick release. Stand back. Steam time. That's it. That's it. Nope. Darn it. I'm impatient today. Oh, yay! There All right, this is quick release, so we're going to take the lid off. The music. Oh. Here we are. The potatoes are real soft, ready to mash. There you go. 
You can see the garlic and you can see the scallions well cooked. <laughs> the camera just steamed over. We're going to add the roasted bell peppers, which adds delicious flavor and gorgeous color. Now it's time to drain the liquid from the potatoes. Enough time has passed and it's really not that hot, so I can just go ahead. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And by the way, if you're having a big party, double the recipe. We'll help it along by stirring it a little bit. And we're just going to let the liquid drain for a moment. And then we'll switch it into here and we will mash it a little bit and make the appetizer. Make balls. Make balls. All right, here we go. <laughs> Wop, that's kind of Wop, cool. that was easy. And they're so soft, the potatoes, that we're going to mash them with a fork, not a potato masher, so. Yeah, plus it sounds like fun. Here we go. There you are, Lizzie. Yeah, Oh, it's so easy. And you want to tilt it so you guys can see. You want it to be like creamy, soft, or just, they don't have to be. No, they don't have to be right. like super creamy. Right. You know, just the, the larger chunks out. Okay, wow. Pretty good. That was that fast and easy. easy. Boy, was it fast and easy. Just a little bit of a size. Okay. And then do you think that's the right texture, or do you want to add a little bit of liquid to that? Uh, I think this is a good texture. All right, so you get to use the beautiful tablespoon. Super my fancy. Sister and this me. will make the potato poppers more fancy. Oh, wait, no, they're <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. All right, so you just take a tablespoon. A flat, a level tablespoon. A level tablespoon, okay. exactly, and then you pull it out. If you don't like to do messy things, this is not the recipe for you. Or you can And close. then you just roll it into a ball. <laughs> uh, you have to pull it out. Yeah, okay. And then these are a little bit more gloppy than the ones I did before. I made this last night just to make sure that it was good. And I had a little left over, so we put it in there. And now I don't know if you can see it, but there's orange in there because I put carrot in last night. And I just didn't do it today. I don't know why. So carrot is a thing that you can add as well, and it adds a pretty another pretty color. And we combined it because the one that we had was a little bit softer than your texture was yeah. last night. Yeah. If you didn't have that and the texture was soft, you could add flour or just a little bit. Yeah, flour any kind of flour, if you're gluten-free, rice, rice flour, yep. or cornstarch, anything, anything to thicken it up just a little bit. And that would be judicious. Yes, yeah, start bit. small and yeah. add. I think straining it a little bit longer might help too. We just didn't take the time to do that because we're on a deadline. We filled up this tray and now we're going to use another soap pack. We should be able to get the rest of them in here, right? Oh yes, I think we'll definitely get these in there. And we can cook these in the oven at the same time, right? Yes, we can. So I have a vortex at home that I love, but it was raining today and I did not want to bring it, so I did not. But be clear that anything we do in here is really very similar. So if we say it's yeah, how, do, how long we cook these and how, what's the temperature? Okay, 350. So it would be in the vortex, you would just flip the trays at the halfway, not even the halfway mark, when they tell you to. And for both, you check, because yesterday they were less gloppy, so maybe they might cook slightly different. We keep an yeah. eye on it as well. Yeah. We're still both in the learning curve. So even though we're not showing the vortex, it's the same. And if you have a different kind of air fryer, it's the same. Yes. More or less. There we are. But the first thing we're going to do is start the Omni Plus, and it's exactly where it's supposed to be on temperature, but time we need to go down to 15 minutes, and then you press start. All right, we have to wait for it to preheat, and then we will put the food in. Last night I only made one tray. I have not made two trays with this recipe so it will be an experiment the normal spot is air fry right there for the tray but I know it says turn food just like the vortex does so we're going to try to use the lower tray and then switch them now we are going to put this tray on the air fry roast side and then we're going to put this tray in on the bottom right on the Bottom. The lowest place you can put it. The lowest it. place because otherwise they're going to squish. Mm -hmm. We right. don't want squished potato balls. No, we do not. That would be like potato pancakes. Okay, this is not the easiest thing I've ever done. 
And in fact, I don't think it's working. <laughs> I have an idea. Okay, guys, hold on. Since that silk pack wasn't working. Because it's really big. It's just too big. And exactly. Melody has, one might say, a plethora of silk packs. Yes, I do. And this is the baby one. And we can put them on there very quickly. And, and carefully. pop it in there. Sort of. Yeah, sort of quickly. I mean, sort of carefully. Yay! Done. That should be much easier. They will slide in easily now. Oh, look at that. And we'll see you at turning time. Yes, and it was only one minute difference, so hopefully it won't matter too much. Was this on air fry? I didn't catch it. You made yes, it. it's on air fry. Okay. Air fry at 350 for 15 minutes, but I have a feeling we're going to go a little bit longer. It's time to switch the trays. And as you can see, the bottom ones are definitely still, <laughs> they're sliding, are definitely not cooked as much as the top ones. So, oh, look how nice and oh, brown these are crusty, beautiful. The brown ones are getting. Now, the ones last night that I made were actually round. These are more Ow. a little cookie shaped. Yes, I'll deal with that, Lizzie. Uh, these are a little more and cookie shaped, and I think that's because we didn't let it drain quite long enough, and you might be able to use a little less water. Lizzie was thinking that might be a part of it as well, and it could be. So we will have to experiment a little more and, and we'll eat leave some more potato poppers while learning. Oh darn. Oh darn. We are at the end. And they are lovely. They look, look at that. that. They look gorgeous. perfect. So pretty. And then the top rack. Which started at the bottom, right? Which started at the bottom are now perfect. beautiful and brown too and they are stuck nope, not. not stuck and they're gorgeous Stunning. when we took them out they were not quite set so now they are very very golden brown so that was about 25 minutes you'd say right 25 minutes I yes 25 minutes but i think the key takeaway here is keep an eye on them yes and always you, until yep, we know what we're what doing now these, I think I'm going to let them go for another minute because they're not quite, well, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. They're pretty. Okay, we'll let them go for another minute or two. <laughs> Lizzie gave me the, uh, so we're going to go for two more minutes on those. We're letting the others cook for just another minute and then we'll do them as well. They look good. They look fabulous. I can't wait to try them. Me too. Here is the final product. These were a little different than the ones that I made last night. I am going to make them again this afternoon to perfect this recipe. And the recipe that I put below is going to be exactly what you need. Not that these are bad, they're still good. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous, yes. And I know they're going to taste good. But we're going to taste them out. Yes, we are. Mm. I'm a one bite cut. <laughs> They're really good. Oh, they are good. Delicious. They're crunchy, but yet the inside is nice and soft. Perfect appetizer mm -hmm. for anything. They're not too spicy for you. No. I would definitely do the eighth of teaspoon of cayenne for me. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. Please be sure to subscribe. That little bell that comes up, mm -hmm. that's the notification bell, and you will always be in the know. Every time we have a video, you'll be aware. We will see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.